Hey everyone, welcome to the Orpheum Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. I'm your host, Nino Lanero with Pacific Rim Video, and we're here for season 14 of So You Think You Could Dance. Vanessa Hudgens talks about how excited she is to be a guest judge on this season of So You Think You Could Dance. Uh, it's so fun. I love it. I love dance. I grew up dancing. I think it's such a beautiful form of expression and art. And I applaud everyone who comes up on this stage because it takes some serious courage to be up here bearing it all. Um, but I love it. It's so much fun. You're part Filipino. Filipinos can get down. They can dance. Have you ever tried any like historical, like folklorical like, Filipino dances before? I haven't, and I should. Thank you for bringing. I'm putting that on my to-do list. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens tells us what she expects in a dancer being a celebrity judge on this season of So You Think You Can Dance. It's just that it thing. I don't know. It's like <laughs> undescribable. You can't like explain what it is. You can't bottle it. You can't sell it. You can't learn it. It's like you're born with it or you're not. I think that it's just like having a well-rounded personality and someone who loves to dance, someone who is happy. <laughs> I think is a big thing as well. Um, and someone who just has a passion that they want to share with the world. Nigel tells us what we can expect on this season of So You Think You Can Dance. Well, obviously now we can go back to dealing with you know, some very deep and serious subjects. Uh, we can also you know, look at the fact that they're talking about stopping the NEA, the National Endowment for the Arts. So I'm sure we're going to be sort of, the choreographers are going to be doing something regarding that. Uh, the standard of dance now in that little, well, two-year period because kids that became 18 a couple of years ago that thought they were going to be dancing last year and were frustrated because we were doing the younger dancers are now here, so we've got a double whammy. This year's 18-year-old and last year's 18-year-olds. Uh, and the standard is fantastic. And that's what I'm thrilled with. One dancer gave us her Nigel impression of a Nigel reaction. Where in the world did you come from? <laughs> So I heard you're a b-boy, man. How long have you been? Uh, have, how long have you been b-boying for? Uh, I've been breakdancing for about ten years now. Seriously, ten years. Yeah. So there's a lot that goes on here in LA, Southern California, as far as the b-boy scene and breakdancing. Um, have you competed besides anything else besides how you think you can dance? Yes, I've competed um, just mainly breakdancing events that are thrown around Los Angeles. Um, it was mainly a couple years ago when I realized. I'm more interested in teaching what I know, uh, passing it on to the youth, um, getting them out of the streets into the studios. So I don't compete as much anymore. Uh, so it's mainly about just sharing the love of breakdancing, performing, I love performing, but my ultimate goal is to get out there and, and share what I know with the youth. So there you guys have it. I'm your host, Nino Lanero from Pacific Rim Video and Front Row Features. Make sure to check out So You Think You Dance this summer. <laughs>